for this month is about faithfulness. Ignite in uh, faithfulness. So, uh, there are some topics that we need to uh, emphasize or ponder uh, according to the verses that uh, we have. So, our verse today is on Luke 16. Luke 16, 1 to 13. This is the verses where we can ponder about faithfulness in our life. Which is, uh, my theme is, be faithful in what is least or little things. Be faithful on little things. Yeah. Most especially on serving the Lord. Most especially on uh, uh, showing your faith to others. You should be faithful uh, of what you have that God gave you. Hallelujah. So we will read. Verse of Luke 16, verse 1 to 13. But uh, our key verse is in verse 10. And I am uh, reading on King J New King James. And this is what it says. And he also said to his disciples, There was a certain rich man who had a steward. The baba unen na, dato yung nabak ng natao. And an and an accusation was brought to him that this man was wasting his goods. So he called him and said to him, "What is this I hear about you? Give an account of your stewardship." For you can no longer be a steward. Verse 3. Then the steward said within himself, What shall I do? For my master is taking the stewardship away from me. I cannot dig. I am ashamed to beg. beg. I am ashamed to beg. I have resolved what to do. That when I am put out of the stewardship, they may receive me into their houses. So he called every one of his master's debtors to him and said to the first, How much do you owe my master? And he said, A hundred measures of oil. So he said to him, Okay. Take your bill and sit down quickly and write 50. Oh, religious none. Yeah. Write 50. Verse 7. Then he said to another, And how much do you owe? So he said, A hundred measures of wheat. And he said to him, Take your bill and write 80. Yo. So the master commended the unjust steward because he had dealt shrewdly. For the sons of this world are more shrewd in their generations than the sons of light. And I say to you, this is now the uh, uh, lesson, make friends for yourselves by unrighteous mammon, that when you fail, they may receive you into everlasting habitation. Mm -hmm. He who is faithful and what is least is faithful also in much, 
and he who is unfaithful and what is least is unjust also in much. Therefore, if you have not been faithful in the unrighteous mammon, you will commit to your trust the true riches. And if you have not been faithful in what is another man's, who will give you what is your own? No servant can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will be loyal to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Mammon, uh, the other uh, version is money, or the other version is riches, wealth. So uh, before I go, let's pray. Father God in heaven, we give you praise. We give you honor. We thank you so much for your goodness, for your kindness, for your uh, uh, faithfulness, oh Father God, for us uh, in the sanctuary, oh Father God, keeping us alive, keeping us uh, love. To worship you, O Father God, let your presence be upon us, O Father God. And Lord, I pray, O Father God, that you are the preacher today, O Father God. Use just uh, my mouth, anoint it, my mouth, anoint it, O Father God, to speak the, the message you want to encourage, encourage us, O Father God. So, Lord, O oh Father God, just hide me on your cross, O oh Father God, that uh, you are the one they, will, they can see, O oh Father God, to be encouraged, O oh Lord. Let your message, O oh Father God, be uh, penetrated to our uh, life, in our own mind, in our thought, in our heart, O oh Father God, that we can practice it every day in our daily life. Bless everyone and thank you for your goodness in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Be faithful what is least. Or uh, the other uh, translation is uh, be faithful what is entrusted to you even if it's a little so that if God will give you much, you, his, he will see you, uh, you, are all, you are faithful. Okay. But uh, Jesus is used to have parables. What's the meaning of parables? In Ilocano, it's pangarig. Yeah? Pangarig ti mayordomo. Kuna na ito uh, verses. Parables are uh, stories. Stories that may be fictional or imaginary in our mind. They are true to life. Yeah? That illustrate a particular moral attitude and religious principles. So, Jesus often uh, pointed out Events of real life that he can see, especially when he is uh, walking to his disciples. So uh, Jesus wants us to learn something for this parable, which is uh, this parable is a uh, unjust steward. The other uh, translation is unfaithful steward, unjust, shrewd uh, steward. So this parable has three things, which is the first one is the situation, the situation of this uh, parable. How uh, Jesus uh, illustrate it to his disciples. And this is the steward's predicament or uh, the situation of this uh, 
steward. So, it says there in our uh, text that he is a... There is an accusation. There is a problem. There is an issue on his stewardshipness. Yeah? So, this steward has created a bad situation for himself by misusing the master's money. And now he is about to lose a job. So, this is money. Yeah? Be careful for money or for wealth or for uh, the things you have. Yeah? So, that is the situation of this. He is misusing, he is wasting the money of his master, the rich man. Second is, nagpanunot. He has a uh, plan, his own plan. So what did he do? What is his plan? Punana, this steward is soon losing his job and he is troubled. Trouble on, he got a problem. He has pressured. No, my son, if you, we are at the end, we are enjoying, but when we are at the end, at the cross line, now we cannot do anything. Right? Something happens. Something happens. So, he think about, <laughs> he think about, his future. The first thing he, he think about is his future. If he lost the job. Yeah. He think about the future, his future if he lost the job. And he didn't think he will get another job as a steward. Of course. He has been uh, uh, na released isuna because of that misusing the way the uh, uh, rich, rich, rich man's money. He doesn't even contemplate that possibility. Nga steward, the applyan namanan. No doubt because he was guilty. He is already guilty on that job. So he think, another thing. Then he think of uh, a laborer digging. But then he think again, oh, I'm not capable. I'm, I don't have uh, skills on digging, on the laborer. Then he think again. What did the uh, third one he think? He think to be a beggar on the street. But then he has a pride. He said, hmm, I am ashamed. I am ashamed to do the uh, begging on the street. Then, be because uh, he has another thinking, which is a solution, a resolution. Resolution to his uh, future. So he think about the kind of work uh, realistically to have a future. He come up another plan that will provide him a place. Yeah. Tinalagip nan. Dijay pag paglakayan na the one who will support him uh, to the end. So, he come up another plan to provide him a place to live in the future. Mm -hmm. That's a good plan, right? Yes, a goal. So, a plan which involved more of his master's money. Ayo, he, he already wastes the money. Then he get more money to waste it and include his life. Yeah, kung minsan tayong mga anak, when we are in the na sidong Sidong ti uh, parents. 
we think of uh, sometimes if we lost a job, oh, I, I will go back to my parents' house. <laughs> I will go back to my parents' house. I don't have uh, uh, savings like that. So that's a common to men, which is in here, in this uh, uh, situation. Yeah. So he said, this steward came up with a pl shrewd plan. Shrewd means it is a wise and cunning nasirib. Nasirib nga panagplano. Because he think of his future. Yeah? So he think of his future. He is, it is the ability to understand what is happening and to take a necessary step to be prepared, to be prepared in the future, but not be caught by his master. Yeah? That is nasiri pa niya. <laughs> he do something plan for his future, but then he also uh, has a uh, kinasirib, shrewd thinking so that he will not be caught by his master. Yeah. Okay. So he, he planned in going to reduce the amount owed by debtors and a large sum using his authority. Oh, the authority that go. I have authority. So he goes to the uh, servants. Because he is the uh, steward. So he goes to the steward and then asks one. He said, One debtor owed uh, 100 measures of olive oil, which is equivalent to uh, uh, nine gallons. In my footnote, it equivalent to eight or nine gallons of olive oil. So he said to the uh, debtors, okay, you, you, you reduce, let your bill, write it, reduce to 50. He said, so it is a half, it is a half measures. Then go to other, uh, other debtor and he said, how many measures do you uh, debt? Do you have a debt to my master? And he said, one hundred measures of wheat, and he reduces to uh, eighty measures, which is equivalent to uh, twelve, ten or twelve bustles. They repeat bustles. So he has already uh, reduced to eighty. So how many? 50 plus uh, 20, so he has already 70. Right? Nakukwana. Kukwana. So it simply applies that this steward, due to his forgiveness, the debtors would have been indebted to him for his generosity. He, he already uh, do his authority. So uh, the, those debtors thinking of what they will, uh, they, they appreciate him or they uh, thank him that he, he reduced their debts. Yeah, so uh, he is already happy. He is already happy. This steward made his former master's debtors indebted to himself. Kayat na nga sawan, and ito, at dati pagsasao, nga, anya, agimula ka tinaimbag, nya, agaramid ka tinaimbag, tika sukat na, naimbag nga nakam, tisubad na, naimbag nga nakam. How could you English that? <laughs> or, uh, Utang uh, anaimbag nga nakam. 
putang na naimbag nga nakam. Ngam ti kasakat na habang bunga, buhay nga taraknam. <laughs> habang buhay nga uh, taraknam at da obligasyon mo nga mang tarakan kinkuha na habang buhay. Like for example, okay, and I, I he- hear this many times, oh, parents, okay, parents, uh, nurtured you from baby to uh, until you got education. Yeah? Nurtured you, give uh, things to you until you graduate and have a uh, uh, course. And then, they, you are, you as child or uh, anak, you have an obligation to care when they are old. Subadam tinaimbag nga nakam. That is a, a common to men. But then that is not uh, the Lord uh, give to us as a lesson. It should be you will be faithful. You will be faithful on little things and you will be faithful in much. So nga, haan na kayat na nga sa uwan, subadam ida, but then God will reward you of what you did, both parents and both the children. Ngam ti tao, pasyay ti pakinakom na, so nga, nagaramid ka ti naimbag, subadam ite, naimbag na nakam. Now, So, this shrewd steward cleverly nasirib nga talaga acquired a great severance package, severance pay for himself at no expense to himself though it is a great loss to his master. Nasirib mo tayo at inlimang na. He expected his plan would cause the debtors to provide his bread and lodging and food and rest for the whole life. What, he, what we see here is that the basic plan will be the, the, to create a major forgiveness of debts which will obligate the debtors to reciprocate the shrewd steward by providing his needs. Reciprocate is a like payback, exchange of what you did. That is a reciprocate. The desire to reciprocate as a part of human design. Yeah, it's very common to us. But it is, uh, they are also doing that during the first century. So not, not for us today, but during the time of Jesus Christ. They are doing that also. So Jesus, Jesus ended his parable by describing what happened once the rich man discovered what is The, his shrewd steward done. He squandered his goods. He uh, point out to expect uh, forgiving his debtors. So he expect that that uh, rich man should explode anger and throw him to prison. But no. The application for this parable is number one. And this is uh, uh, the lesson of this parable. We must plan wisely for eternal future. Okay? Which is in verse 8. In verse 8, it says here, 
So the master commended the unjust steward because of he had dealt shrewdly. For the sons of this world are more shrewd in their generations than the, the sons of the light. Yeah. Because the, uh, the difference of unbelievers and believers of Christ, they are, the unbelievers are more sure, shrewd. They are more have a thinking of saving in this earthly future. Than the unbelievers, they are more uh, have a savings when they will go to heaven. Right? So, be faithful of what? Be faithful wisely for your eternal future. That's the plan. That's the lesson of this uh, parable. So, Jesus' statement to his disciples is to be more wisely. Uh, more wisely to plan for heavenly future than in earthly future today. Now is the right time. Future plan in the future. Huh? Sino the savings na? <laughs> Nothing? <laughs> Number two. Number two, application. Of this parable, we must use money in this life to reap reward into the next life in heaven, which is in verse 9. We can use our resources to benefit others, yes, especially to communicate the gospel to them. Amen. We reap, then we can reap the eternal dividends in heaven. Someday, they may be at heaven's door, the gijay nga, uh, you had preached, and said to you, greet you, and said to you, well done, good and faithful servant. You will have you have been faithful over little, and I will set you over much. Yan, which is in Matthew 25, 21. So you're gonna enter, they will usher you to the master's uh, kingdom. Money, okay, money belongs to God. Yeah. Though you have a hard work to earn money, but money, uh, we are stewards of money. Not you, but we need to, we are stewards of money, but use wisely. Okay? Money can be used for good or evil. Yep, true. Money has a lot of power. So use carefully and thoughtfully. We must use our material resources in a way to foster other in faith in obedience. That is the second lesson, which is we uh, read in verse 9. Number three is we must recognize Faithfulness with what we have, not much. Ako natayo ko, oh, nagbasit pa yung mot. Ang kanga matulungan. Ka nagbasit pa yung mot, this will do. Ang kung maitid ti tights ko. Ka nagbasit mo, this will do. Kung ayaw. But then, ah, uh, be faithful on little things. Itid mo alata jay 10%, which is required, which is a biblical principle. It's because you are just a steward, right? If faithful.
faithful person is a righteous person. Our integrity, ito ay kinatao tayo, or our character, is often in line with money matters. No, kas anong mga gastusan. Right? Jai Kwartam. So, God is teaching us to be honest even in a small income. How could you be blessed? No, di da ka pa'y makita. We have already record. Di da ka pa'y, they cannot see you on record that you are tithing. How could you be blessed? How could God bless you if you are unfaithful? Right? And that is uh, on number four. Number four uh, application. We must recognize that God will not entrust us with the true riches of the kingdom if we cannot be faithful with the riches or wealth of this world. See? As, as, a, as a steward, even in our life, we are a steward on our life. We are a steward on our resources that God gives. Now, if you are not honest, how could you be blessed with much if you are not honest of what you have? You are cheating like the shrewds, shrewd uh, uh, servant. Now, so uh, Timothy, Paul asked to Timothy that he will uh, see the elders, the elders in 1 Timothy 3, 4 and 5. That he will see the elder, elders, that the elders should be have one wife. And should be a steward, has a stewardship on his family. Right? Should be trusted. In his family, he should be trusted in leadership or, or on being on that own family. Little things, those are little things. So if he will be uh, in the church to be as a leader, much more he will be trusted. Okay? Right? If we can't handle stewardships over earthly things, then how will be able to handle stewardship on things of God? And if we can cannot serve faithfully under the authority of men, how will be how will we be able to be given authority of their, of their own in God's kingdom? Yeah, that is a question that we will answer. God will not entrust true riches in those who cannot even handle worldly riches. And God will not give anyone things of their own to oversee if they cannot oversee things on behalf of others. Kasla ko maiti trabaho. You cannot be a leader on that. You cannot be a supervisor. You cannot be um, an employee. If you are not be trusted, you cannot be trusted. Yeah. And last is number five. We must remember that how we use our money. How we use uh, our money indicates who are true master. In verse 13, that we, whatever we uh, serve, 
the God or the mammon or the money or the wealth. So, Jesus makes clear in this verse to serve only one, not both. So, you need, we need to serve God alone. Money can easily take God's place in our life. Money lover, lover, money lover is a deceptive master. A deceptive master. It has power and control. It cannot provide eternal life. Amen. Very quiet. Only serving God alone can give eternal reward in life. You have peace of mind and hope of place and security. Yan. Isu nga DJ pan panunutun DJ unjust nga servant. Just only on this earth. DJ future na. Ngam no panunutun tayo. If we think. When will we become uh, seniors? <laughs> when will we become seniors? <laughs> if you don't have savings or you don't have insurance or things, the, the cost of funeral today is expensive. <laughs> even your lot, even your cemetery lot, expensive and you don't have savings so <laughs> think of it padak na seniors <laughs> let's have insurance <laughs> ije pilipinas oh liberty oh lot nya <laughs> aglalo ije no <laughs> no ije bugyas kat they can uh, Put their uh, the body on their lap. <laughs> Everywhere, it's very costly. So uh, it's true. This one, you need. We need to save for the future. We need to save for the future. We need to be a steward on little things. Then God will reward us on much more bigger things. Amen. My conclusion is, though the parable may seem strange or misleading, the unrighteous steward was appreciated Imbis ko mga, imbis ko mga uh, agungot, DJ Master, no. But because of his thinking, uh, thinking of his future, he changed his plan into a further long term. Huh? Long term goals and plan instead of satisfying his short term desires he did not think of his uh, desires on this earth but he think of his future uh, no ngamang uh, take care kanyana so uh, that is the main thing that we think in here though it, it he is kusit uh, nasirib ng baloktot nasirib but then uh, the first thing he think is his future life so christians nahan nga ni christian ah now christians should be more prudent masirib wise in managing uh, your future in heaven, not the uh, world health. Yeah, it is an example that if you are 
steward, if you are a good steward on your material things on earth, that is more. God sees you that uh, he will give you a reward, a much more reward on the eternal home blessings. Okay? Use your material richness, riches to make friends with non-believers to evangelize. Amen. So, you get the main thing? <laughs> be faithful on little things, then be faithful also in much. Amen. Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon.